The skirmishes between the two neighboring countries, Orange Star and Blue Moon, were thought to have been merely stories of the past. That is, until the day Blue Moon attacked without warning. Hunter, you will guide the commanding officers of the Orange Star in defending their territory and fight to uncover the motive behind this sudden ambush. Our story now begins with Nell, Commander-in-Chief of the Orange Star, as she trains a new recruit. Andy, wake up! This isn't time to be lazing about. Oh, uh, I'm up. What's the drill this time? Oh yeah, that's right! If Andy's voice sounds familiar, that's because Andy's being voiced by Veronica Taylor, aka Ash from Pokemon. It is going to sound very jarring throughout this playthrough, but you know what? I, it actually kind of works a little bit. I can honestly hear that voice coming from Andy. Uh -huh. No drill, we got a real situation. It's that madman Olaf. Uh, that is, I mean, it's the commander-in-chief of the Blue Moon. Our intel indicates that he's ordered an invasion of Orange Star. Blue Moon? Hmm, I thought they were just... I thought they were through being the bad guys. We send a recon team to investigate, and they just sent word that Blue Moon now holds the Core Fortress. We can't afford to lose that territory. Right on. I finally get to do something. I'm gonna lead the way and save the day. I can't wait to see some action. Oh no you don't. Not yet anyways. You need to listen and learn first. Our top priority is re-securing the Coral Fortress for Orange Star. Watch closely, okay? Let's go. Alright, mission one, tank ops. Olaf has occupied the Coral Fortress with his prize unit in tow. Take this opportunity to show Andy the ropes. And tanks. But mainly tanks. Lots and lots of tanks. We, we have so many tanks we're going to be using in this fight. And by so many tanks, I mean a tank. A medium tank? Olaf means business. Even with all our units, we need to... We need an airtight strategy to win. Okay. Okay, I get it. We need a strategy. A really good strategy. Now, what's a strategy again? Do you need me to explain? Oh dear. Do you need me to explain our strategy here? To me, no, but Andy is a very simple lad, so yes. A strategy, a, a strategy is a plan of attack. You don't win battles with just a show of force. I hope you've learned that by now. For the time being, we can ignore the medium tank. Just make sure it doesn't move into attack range. Remember that you can always check a unit's ring attack range by moving the cursor onto it and holding B. Then let's make the most of our tank and mech units by using the defensive cover of cities and the woods as we battle. Placing the artillery here uses its superior range to our advantage, plus the river protects us from all but enemy infantry. Yeah. Then we roll in and save the day. Mm, perhaps, but only when it's strategically advantageous. Every battle is different. There are more than one way to win, you know. Do you need to explore the terms of victory? In terms of victory, explain what conditions need to be met in order to succeed in completing the mission. Have you checked out the intel on the map menu yet? If you select it, you can see several new menu icons. Terms, status, units, and guide. When you select terms, it'll explain how to successfully complete the mission. You should also review the other items when you have the time. There are a lot of useful information there. <laughs> Alright, I think I got all that. Mostly anyways. Let's go show Blue Moon what we're made of, Nell. Alright. Let's get our artillery into position so we can start working on this tank and artillery unit right here. Got a couple cities down here we can capture, so let's get our... Um, actually, no, let's get our infantry put into here and we'll have them start working their way down to the cities. You down here. Put our mechs over here. And we'll get our infantry moved up into position, and uh, actually, let's put this right here, so that way we can block off the tank. I don't think it can... Okay, no, it can't show up yet. Also, I didn't realize that it was on top of a city, so we might take a little bit of damage, but at the same time, we can also place one of our mechs into the force right here, so we can ambush that tank when it comes into range. Star Army is launching.
launching a counterattack. Oh, that's actually a really good voice for Olaf. Holy hell, that that's so nice. <laughs> I see you failed to notice my new weapon, Nell. You'll soon tremble before the power of the mightiest ground forces ever. This will be a quick victory for Moon Moon. Alright, taking a little bit of a hit, but thankfully we got the ambush site set up. In fact, I think we could probably get our mechs to ambush them in both spots. But first and foremost, let's t uh, fire in that artillery to weaken it. Let's get you guys down here, capturing the cities. Nope, he cannot reach there. Alright, well, in that case, let's set up the ambush for the tank right here. And thankfully, those tanks are so weak that the mechs didn't even take any damage from them. So let's move our tank back here, get the mech over here to finish off this tank. And there we go! Also, I noticed that the bridge actually changes depending on if it's vehicles or if it's infantry. So that's actually a really nice thing, too. It's more of a footbridge for them. All right. So the artillery, I don't... Th yeah, we are just out of range of the artillery except for ours, but ours can definitely outgun them. Uh, let's see. That would be within range of the artillery right there. So let's get you right here. And it would have to be the spot right there. So unfortunately, we can't get our artillery or our infantry over there. But let's move you guys down here because we're going to try and counter the infantry that are going to definitely strike our artillery spot right here. Or if not, they're going for the cities instead. Alright, only two damage. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Excellent! My CO power is ready. Alright, Andy, this is a real teaching moment, so listen up. The CO power meter is at the top corner of the screen. The meter fills up gradually over the course of any battle. When it fills up completely, it'll start flashing. That means it's good to go. When the CO power is ready, you can activate it by selecting the power from the ma map menu. But keep an eye on your enemy's seal power meter as well. They won't hesitate to use their own seal power against us. No. I'm confused. What exactly does the seal power come from? Yes. Well, it comes from inside you, of course. The exhilaration of battle kindles the flames of our special abilities. When a fire ignites, one's true talent can be unleashed. Huh? A talented fire? But how does that... Never mind. Okay then, I'm ready to select the power from the map menu and send Olaf's truth packing. So, let's go. Nell's unit may randomly strike up to six, plus 16 to firepower, and they also gain plus 10 firepower in defense. Lucky me. I love Nell's little dance right there. Lucky star. Also, I love these animated intros as well. As much as I'm going to miss the, the CO power theme from past Advance Wars games, <laughs> I still really like this. None of my units are lucky. That means they have a greater chance of dealing high damage in battle. But that's just my own CO power. Every CO is different, so you should adjust your strategy accordingly. You can read the intel in the CO power or even that of your opponents by selecting the CO at the top menu. Whenever you meet a new CO, I recommend checking there. After all, knowledge is power. So, let's take a look at them real quick. So we got Nell, a well-bound CO with no weak points. They say she was born under a lucky star. Those units may randomly strike with up to plus 20 to firepower. Uh, her hits are willful students, but her misses are downtime. There's a CO power, there's a CO meter, 
and basically her conditions for her troops. So she's like the most rounded CO for Orange Star. So let's hit these tanks from the side. And for the most part, wipe them out. Let's hit this artillery and just completely wipe it out even without the seal power. Let's get you moving down here. And because I find it absolutely hilarious, let's take her infantry and let's just take out the tank with basic infantry. And now we move the tank up here. Take them out before they capture the city. you boys up into there and we shall drop you off in the city there we go both cities down there are captured I probably should have done that earlier but I completely forgot to and you guys definitely need to get some more ammo but you don't really need them for what's lying ahead because we both already took out their tanks Aside from the medium tanks sitting up there. So all we gotta really do is watch out for those mechs and counter them with the infantry. How dare they! Nobody plows through my army like that! play this smart because those mechs would make quick work of our tanks. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to ambush them with the infantry and we're going to keep our tanks safe from those mech units. Yeah, it's only going to be 24. Yeah, that would be able to take them out, but then they'd be vulnerable to these dudes up here. So let's do this. We'll move our infantry up here. We'll take them out, and we'll use our mechs down here to capture the city. And to make all of life a little bit harder, we're going to send the tank down here to attack the infantry and delay their capturing. only by a little bit, but since it's just basic infantry, our tanks will be able to hold out no problem against them. And we'll get you boys moving down here, we'll move them down here, and we'll just slowly start making our way over to where the HQ is. And I'm going to drop you right here so we can get you guys loaded up in there, and we're just going to zoom right on over here. Sun, snow, rain, or other weather, I can handle anything. I'm kind of surprised, I guess, because roads have no cover. Ooh, that actually went pretty bad. back here. Keep working on slowing you guys down, though. I don't think this is going to be enough, and they're going to capture the city without... Yeah, they have a... they're down to three, so they're not going to be able... they're going to capture next turn. So we'll just drop you boys off down there. Let's move you across the river. Let's do some damage to you, although I think you're probably going to go right for my infantry to wipe them out.
Actually, no, they're safe back there, so whoever they decide to go against, which is most likely going to be these guys, they should be able to handle them, no problem. Oh, you're going after them instead? Alright then. I mean, you just kind of made yourself an easy target for the artillery. you guys. Let's take you out. And we'll start working on this. Move you down there. And remove this right over here. And I probably should have dropped them off, but I just want to make sure that that tank's not going to go anywhere. Let the winds of war bring snow. Blizzard! Okay, that kind of backfired. Okay, that really backfired. Alright, we're gonna need to make a defensive wall here. What I was planning to do was I was going to move the artillery up here and just start pelting that tank with it, but since that's not gonna be the case... It's not going to survive long. That infantry is also going to most likely not make it. But I need to hold out a couple turns for that artillery to hit the tank. So we'll just put the tank right there for a blockage and hope for the best. Ah! Blast it! Why we must not let the enemy overwhelm us. Well, our tank served us well, and served as a good defensive wall. But thankfully, we made room for that artillery to hit the medium tank. Fortunately, uh, uh, how close is no seal power ready? It's got a ways to go. So actually, you know what? We can actually hit him twice. Oh, they actually held out. I'm kind of surprised. Alright, there we go. Now, oh, actually, can they? No, they can't. But we can't do this, although we are definitely going to be taking some losses here. Or not. I'm, cu I'm curious. Can the infantry take them out? No, they, they have no chance. Unless, maybe if I did this... Ah, there we go. <laughs> you really let Olaf have it, Nell. No time for celebration. If Olaf has access to medium tanks, then our current tactics won't suffice. I'll have to ask Central Command to ship us some new units. What? Even my medium tank was defeated? Curse that Nell. <laughs> huh. 
But it doesn't seem like she has any air units ready for us yet. I'm sure I'll enjoy our next encounter. Great job. Alright, let's see. Speed could have been better. Power was great. And technique, we lost uh, too many units for it. I think that tank really hit us hard. Still, A rank, I'll take it.